Hello, beautiful one. My name is Faith Hunter, and I just want to share a few thoughts on navigating, oh my goodness, and releasing negative thoughts as all of us move through the ebbs and flows of our lives. We experience some really challenging and traumatic moments. Unfortunately, it is our human condition that as we navigate these moments and times in our lives, it can be hard to let go. It can be hard to release the negative thoughts because we are triggered. We can look to the right, to the left, right? We can wake up in the morning and just simply breathe and like poof, those negative thoughts start to flood our minds. And then that begins to dictate the rest of our day. But here are a couple of things I want you to consider. And uh, yeah, I have my notes here because I really don't want to forget anything really key and important. The first thing is you want to make sure that you accept, acknowledge, and release. Our journey begins with acknowledging our negative feelings. And just as we would connect and greet an old friend, Sometimes those negative thoughts are like that. Acknowledge them. Say, hello, I see you. I acknowledge you. But you are not controlling me, meaning the negative thought is not going to control you. And in that acceptance, you are making space. Because you are not hugging it and saying, oh, I'm holding on to you for the rest of the day. You're like, hey, boo, how you doing? I got you. I've heard you. I acknowledge that you are there. But I have so many more things to do on this path called life. Acknowledge, accept, and then you start to release. Well, you're probably one with faith. How do I release? You release, I feel, the power of the breath, and then merge that with intention. So I often recommend that when you are even just walking down the street or you wake up in the morning and you have those negative thoughts start to flood in, you pause, you breathe in a good thought. And then as you exhale with intention, you're like, I am letting go of that negative thought. You breathe in what nourishes you, what feels good, what is loving. And then you exhale that thought that is not going to serve nor uplift you. The other thing that I find that is useful in releasing, right? If you're like, oh man, just sitting there breathing, meditating, isn't that going to do it for me? I also like to get on the treadmill, get my body physically active, do my yoga practice, because what happens is that negative energy sits in our physical body and through the movement, we are able to shed and peel back the layers. So when I'm in my movement practice, my, my deep yoga practice, or I'm on the treadmill or taking a walk out in nature, again, I'm breathing in, I'm thinking positive vibrations. And maybe when I take a twist, which twists are very cleansing, or if I'm doing a nice big, oh, let go go, release, maybe even shaking my hands. This kind of movement helps. It's all coming out. It's not staying in your physical body. And as a result, it's not going to stay in your mind. The other thing I like to do, once you've accepted, acknowledged, and started that process of releasing, I always say that you have to lay a new foundation. You have to set a new foundation because a traumatic moment is one of those things that can be really, really uncomfortable and it shakes our foundation. Sometimes it will break and crack our foundation. So one of my favorite ways to set a new foundation is by positive affirmations, using those positive affirmations first thing in the morning, using those or saying those positive affirmations out loud or to yourself when you are triggered, when you are feeling uncomfortable, when that negative thought starts to bubble up and take hold of you. Say those positive affirmations while you're you know, in your mind, while you are brushing your teeth in the morning. 
I always love placing my positive affirmations on the glass in the bathroom, on my refrigerator. I also have my intentions and positive affirmations on my phone. So every time my phone comes up, I see it. It's my home screen. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's who I am, right? I am that positive vibration. So you're creating these positive moments throughout your day that you are visually seeing, even if you're not seeing it, you're visually seeing it on your refrigerator or on your mirror, but you are also saying those positive affirmations morning, midday, night, and especially in those moments when the negative thoughts start to bubble. And the next thing, create space for your heart. Create your own sacred space. And when I say sacred space, it can be a physical sacred space or an energetic sacred space. Now let's first talk about the physical sacred space. I like having my own little sacred altar in my home. So if you have like a special corner or special area in your home that you want to place flowers, candles, burn your incense there. I have like all the things, the crystals, pictures, all of my essential oils, my Florida water. Yeah, all of my altar. That's my sacred space. I love meditating in front of that. I light my candles every day in front of that. When I'm doing special intentions, new moon rituals, full moon rituals, I do it all in front of that physical sacred altar. Now, my energetic sacred altar is my inner being. It is my body, my mind, and my soul. And the way that I cultivate that sacred space is through my meditation practice, through my breathwork practice, through my yoga practice, my physical practice of intentional movement. I also create that sacred space with my thoughts, coming back to those positive affirmations, but also those elements and qualities of gratitude when I wake up in the morning, of saying my divine thoughts, my prayers at night before I go to bed, and just being really intentional about the things I see, the things I feel, the things I experience on a daily basis. And that creates an internal sacred space. There you have it. Thank you so much for joining me. And again, I'm Faith Hunter, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.